Hello friends, Dr. Ricky again, and I'm using this graphic to demonstrate to you that this magical 8 second reset technique that I'm about to show you can be done at every vertebral level, at each level of the spine, each disc level, you want to be at each point the first points are at the base of the spine and we hold pressure to the point of resistance. When the body pushes back, when you get a rebound effect, that's where I stop. With a petite young lady like this, we don't need to use a lot of pressure. Equal points bilaterally can be treated at the same time with equal pressure. Other points it's not a good idea to do at the same time. This technique is basically a physiological reset button so if we were to think of this button right here as being like a reset button like maybe on your router if you push and hold the button not quite enough guess what happens nothing but if you hold it long enough in this case eight seconds there's a reset effect that goes way beyond the effect of muscle massage this is a muscle reset technique. Basically, restore factory settings. So that is the lumbar miracle eight second technique. And continuing with the thoracics, We also put pressure on the muscles next to the spine equally and sustain it for eight seconds. A little editorial note is that on a big person, we could use your elbow for the eight second technique. If I were working on a truck driver, this is how I would be doing it, one side at a time. But Greta isn't a truck driver, so we just use our thumbs. And we can do both sides at the same time. There are three places in the human body that it's not a good idea to do this technique of pressure for eight seconds. One of them is directly on the spine itself. It just hurts and it doesn't do anything. So please don't do it there. Secondly is a spot right behind the ear where there's a little bone and if we were to apply pressure behind the ear it's possible to break this little bone so don't put pressure behind the back of the ear and then the last place is on the front of the neck we can put pressure on either side but not both at the same time that could cause problems Mm. Uh -huh. On the right, we have a live one. Mm. 
I'm holding pretty firm pressure on this right point, and it's a little bit involved. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much pressure do you feel? Oh, the last one. Mm-hmm. Uh, 9, 8 to 9. Okay. It's usually a good idea to ask a patient to judge the amount of pressure that they feel from 1 to 10. And any of the points that are an 8 or more, it's good that they let you know. You don't stop applying pressure. In fact, you want to be sure you hold pressure a little bit longer for those points and make sure that the reset effect occurs. Because the ones that are very sensitive are the ones that the person really needs work with. And the bladder meridian splits and has two parts. These are double points. And so we're treating the other points on the outer bladder meridian. Eight seconds each. And very patiently, anywhere and everywhere in the whole body except those three places. Directly on the spine, right behind the ear, and the front of the neck. thoracic spine. And now for the pelvis. We have basically three rows of points. Ah, serving this on the left side. Thank you. And then we can do the points right at the head of the femur. Other good ones for this are gallbladder 36. And that's the pelvis. Thank you.